my background is in uh, studying jazz. And then when I was at uni in Perth, um, I started to get more interested in, in classical music. And at the same time as that, my interest in jazz has developed as well. So I found the different kind of medium points between the two and all the sort of possibilities for performance. Uh, my background is also in, uh, in jazz. I've been interested uh, more and more in, in running for uh, classical ensembles. Uh, yeah, I work a lot with um, projects of, of mine, uh, things like Vampires and, and Strides and, and now for Ensemble Offspring. So. I thought it would be a great opportunity to work with an ensemble that's, that has worked in that field for a long time uh, to just understand the you know administrative side of it and the business side of it and actually making a career out of it well, i really the, want to talk about budget it's definitely easier if you just program yourself I know, the person I know. in the beginning and then you do that. i guess that's the thing when you're kind of younger and trying to make your mark on the scene as well you have to be open to those sort of compromises which i think is necessarily a bad thing mm. you have. So it's been a, a fantastic opportunity to um to get a real insight into the workings um, of the of the group, everything from day to day rehearsals and, and admin to um, uh, seeing their um, how their their vision takes shape. But it's that like okay, how do I keep that integrity while still having a book yeah. that's sellable? And it's sort of like how do you balance those two things? So you're still happy with the integrity of the program, but you know that there's re there's reasons there that. that people so it's, it's a balancing act. I guess it's not unsurprising, but, but to see how hard both of, both of the ADs work. I mean, it's that thing of just seeing how every little decision has to be made by someone. I, I get the feeling that this, that part should be no guidelines and just... Yeah. Or oh, okay. if you keep the bar lines, just do sort of pauses yeah. in between the gestures. Because yeah, yeah, it's so yeah. gestural that it feels like rushing through to count that. Yeah, right. Crotch of rest. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Over rest. It's important to create your own opportunities for getting your, mm -hmm. your music out there, whether you're a performer or a composer. Well, it's that thing of how do you sell knowledge. the trumpet to people who like Seeing a project in a um, in all its detail right from the start, now seeing yeah the way the ADs work and and the whole team as well, um, it's just extremely detailed and it really helps the whole thing along. Think big, you know, <laughs> have have a vision. That's what the presenters yeah. want. Yeah. They yeah, want to yeah, know yeah. that they can get the bums on seats. I suggested that we do this uh, Stockhausen trio. It's this very interesting process of getting the score to the state that you actually perform it in. That's really nice when all the detail. Yeah, yeah, it down. does. You can hear the change in yeah. the texture. Yeah. It's kind of disorienting at first, but it's um, it becomes extremely colourful. I'm looking forward to the realisation of these two pieces that I've been writing and, and working on and thinking about over the last six months. Um, and prior to that, I'm looking forward to finishing it. <laughs>